Hi, this is Francisco Bujan from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men. And the topic for this video is I was a stepdad to her children. If you were, you know, really taking this role in her life, right? Uh, when you met her, she already had one or two kids or more from a past relationship, a past marriage. And over the time you spent a few years together, then you ended up taking this father role, being this father figure for her children. What do you do? do you, you know, how do you relate to her children in the future? And uh, the message that I want to give you here is uh, a message that um, actually relates to many other aspects of her life. It is the fact that when uh, you break up, you don't just break up with a person, you break up with her world, you break up with her reality. And her reality can mean her social life, it can mean her family, it can mean her children, it can mean uh, a business you, you help her with, it can mean uh, the place she lives in, it can mean a whole lot of, uh, of things that are related with her life and her presence. And uh, when you break up with her, you have to let go not just of that person, that individual, but also everything that is related or linked to her. Okay, so her kids uh, are part of her life. You have to look at it from a legal perspective. What rights do you have over these children? Most probably none, right? Uh, you are somebody who has uh, had a certain connection with them through her. So the moment you break up, if you stay uh, stacked with the idea of wanting to stay the father for uh, her children, you keep on investing time and energy into her world. And yes, it's something that you can do if you have a special link with these kids, but most of the times this means that you are going to end up being stacked within that role, within that position, and get back nothing from it. The very reason why you decided to become a stepdad for these children is because you were dating her, right? You were in a steady relationship with her. Now that she's gone and that she's no longer relating to you as a boyfriend or partner, then her children are all as well taken away from you. <clears throat> so look at it from two perspectives. The first perspective is the legal perspective. It means that you have simply no right. Imagine what is your decision-making power over the life of these children. Suppose they are relatively young and they have to choose for a school, they have to choose for certain things, and uh, she comes to you and says, look, they are my children, I am the one who is going to take decisions. So step out and don't try to force your opinion over, over what uh, you think they should be doing. Okay? When she tells you these things, she's simply um, uh, reinforcing the fact that she's the one who is responsible for their education. And you legally have absolutely simply no power. So it's important for you to uh, remember that and stick it into your mind so that you don't start expecting or hoping for something that is not going to happen. Okay? Um, another aspect of how you relate to, to them is um, through the emotional connection that you might have with them. And uh, again, try to imagine what happens the moment she starts dating somebody else. And this person, this new boyfriend, partner, or lover, or even maybe a husband, starts becoming the new stepdad into their life. Okay, what is left for you? There is nothing left. Uh, why? Because those children are going, to, are going to start disinvesting from you as well. And eventually, um, you know, you end up being in a situation where you invested lots of time, energy, emotions into them, but get back very little to nothing. Okay. So in that situation, I know that it is tough because you can get attached to these kids. You know, if you have been really, if you saw them grow up, if you saw them, you know, supported them in their life steps, etc. You can really become emotionally attached to them. But at the same time, right now, it's a reality which is being taken away from you. So my advice is very simple. Let go. Uh, if, if you want to see them a couple of times, or if they want to come and see you a couple of times, that's OK. But building, keep on keeping on building this active uh, you know, father figure or you know, relationship that you had with them, I think that would mean lots of trouble for you really in the future. Why? Because imagine that a, a new woman comes into your life. Imagine how she will feel when she knows that you are still relating with uh, the kids of your ex. I mean, it means that you are still investing into her world, into her reality. It means that you are not emotionally free to start building something new. 
And um, in that case, in that situation, I would say yes, absolutely let go. And uh, yes, you can take a little bit of this mentoring uh, father role, father figure, a little bit if they need your support at a certain moment. If you want to, that's a possibility. But in most cases, I would say you have to let go. You have to really grow beyond that and realize that it's not just a relationship with her you are giving up, you are giving up a relationship with her world, with her energy reality. Okay? I know it can be quite a challenge, but I think that's that would be the, the best winning strategy for, for this specific challenge. Take care and bye bye.